boy. Good. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing well today. I'm walking out to the shop with a paper plate full of coffee grounds and a couple apple cores. And yeah, you probably guessed it. We're going out here to feed our new red worms out here in our Verma composter. Uh, we'll see how those worms are doing in the last video we showed where we were just setting up that bin it's still in the shop because this morning i think was the last official freeze of the year so now we can start getting everything outside we can start moving the baby ducks outside probably and start planting our garden plants in today's video we're gonna have a little bit of a uh special video for you guys one of the baby kiko bucklings will be leaving the farm today and when i say special it's little bit different situation they're going to be making the trip all the way to the state of new york i believe it is uh, we got a subscriber that had uh been uh messengers for a while emailing us wanting to know if we were going to be selling any of the bucklings and uh she actually was going to texas to buy some goats and wanted to know if she could stop by on her way back to uh, new york and purchase one of our Kiko bucklings. So she's gonna stop by today. We're gonna video it. I already asked her if she was okay with being in a video and she said she would feel honored. So whenever she gets here, we're out, we'll actually let her talk a little bit about her plans and see where these goats are going for sure. I'm pretty sure it's New York, but don't hold me to it. I'll ask her for sure when she gets here. So stay tuned for that. You're not gonna wanna miss that. But first, let's get these, uh, let's go do a little worm checkup. I am uh, super excited. Bear with me, I know it's dark. I'm super excited to get this, uh... oh wow, there are some on the lid. Not very many. Let me close this uh, shop door because I know the light's a little awkward. I don't see any on the ground, so that's a good sign. Let me show you guys here. All right, so we still got the newspaper on top. Um, you can see there's some of these little worms on the side and then some on the lid, but not very many at all. And since the other day when we got this thing started, we haven't really added any food or vegetables or anything. Look at that. It looks like they're starting to munch on the... Wow, it looks like they've already eaten a lot of the cucumber peels. And they are munching on some of the grapes and some of that stuff. It looks like our moisture is just right. Now we do got some mold. I'm not sure if that's a bad thing or not. I don't think it's going to be too bad. We'll just kind of uh, spread everything around. Kind of equal. Now you can put paper in there. I don't know if I want to put these paper plates in there because it does have ink on it, I think. So I'm not going to mess with that right now. But let's let's lift this little apple core up and see. Oh yeah, there was little guys all underneath it. And as far as these eggshells, I think the bacteria and some of the microorganisms will actually be the ones that break that up. I don't know if the worms will actually eat it or not. So let's cover them back up. We'll just keep uh, vlogging this little journey and see how these worms end up. I know a lot of, of you guys are interested in this. Some of you are grossed out by it, and I completely understand, but it's going to be beneficial to our garden big time. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to walk out to the Kiko goat pasture, and uh, I'm going to take a little bucket of some sunflower seeds and some just some grain and stuff, and see if they'll come up to me. Because there's nothing more frustrating when you got someone coming to buy a goat and you can't get them up there so the uh, customer can actually look at them good and pick one out. And then when you actually go to grab it, there's, you guys know if you've been following the channel, there's always that one goat. Uh, if it's the goat that someone wants to buy, if it's the goat that you need to catch to doctor or medicate or whatever, that one goat is always the hardest one to catch. So uh, I'm going to go out there and just give them a little treat. Just to get him. Uh oh. Hold on. This is a surprise. I did not expect this. So looky here, guys. We got baby chicks. You guys didn't even know I had these eggs in the incubator, probably, did you? And it looks like there is uh, three or four of these guys in there. 
So that's going to be another thing I got to do today. I got to I got to get these ducks out so I can make room in the brooder for the chickens. All right. This is exciting. I actually put a bunch of banny eggs in there and I got some Americana eggs in there and just some random of our eggs from all of our chickens in there. So do a little update on the ducks. We're going to have to get these ducks out of there because I don't have another brooder really. And these guys are getting big enough now. I can set them up outside in the uh, mobile meat chicken tractor and put a heat lamp on them and I think they'll be just fine. So let's go take a look at these goats real quick. There is the king of the chickens. <laughs> He's uh, small but mighty. That's old Pedro. And that is what we are wanting more of here on the farm. So I put several little banny eggs in there hoping we could get some little Pedros. But there's no guarantee. So this is where I keep pretty much the treats for the goats, which I think I dumped in one of the last bags of feed I had. So all the good stuff actually towards the bottom. So yeah, there's the good stuff down below. We'll just kind of mix it up. There you go. Got all kinds of good goodies for the goats and treats. Just enough to tease them to uh, make them friendly and come up here. And then when we come back out here with this little bucket, they're going to say, hey, last time he came out here with that bucket, he had some treats for us. So, Connie, you got to let me in, girl. You got to let me in, girl. This is uh, probably going to be one of your mama's, uh, you mama's lucky day because at least one of the babies are going to be leaving. So that means uh, one of you mama's will have some uh, relief. All right. Hold on. What do you know, Daisy? What do you know, girl? I can't pet you just yet. My hands are full. All right. Make some room and I'll give you all some treats. Set this camera up. Hold on. Let me dump a little on the ground. All right. Hey, this one. Oh. Look. Look here. Hey, girls, twins. Look here. Y'all aren't so stubborn. You don't even know what you're missing out on. So this is how you get goats to be friendly. If you want goats to be friendly, come out here every day and hand feed them some corn, some sunflower seeds. And see, like if we were out here right now and somebody was out here and said, hey, uh, I'll take that goat right there. Got some feet on the ground. When they put their little head down, you grab them. Or you can just get them in the barn and kind of pin them up. But it's always dark in there. And if you're out here in the light, you can kind of get a better look at their color and all kinds of their features and whatever you're looking for in an animal or a goat. Now I got some walking through the tripod or the camera. Here. There's enough for everybody if y'all just calm down. Here. Girl, you two are a pain. Good hog, no chair. <laughs> Taylor Swift, you can have some. Man, your horns are crazy. Here. Here, you can have the old bucket. Stick your head in there. Alright. I'm just going to spread this out over there. There you go. Leave me alone. Okay. All right. Now what are you gonna do?
like I said, we're at the gate. Look at this. These girls are a nuisance. Okay, guys, so we are pretty much set. Uh, Daisy's out here. She's being a good girl. Her nose is still running a little bit. We got to get her back into the vet. I think she has officially taken her last of her meds. But her nose is running pretty bad, so we're going to get her back into the vet and get her seen too. Um, I think um, our friend's going to be here within an hour or so. So uh, I'm going to go up to the house and make sure everything's good to go. And when she gets here, we'll start videoing again and see which goat she actually chooses. Or she chooses more than one, I don't know. Um, on the baby chicks, we'll probably make another video later today, so stay tuned for that. Um, I don't want to put it all in one video, but we'll get the uh, chicken tractor out and get it set up for the baby ducks. Get a heat lamp set up so they won't get too cold at night because it is still early spring and it does get very cold at night. And then we'll move the baby chicks, the newly hatched baby chicks, into the brooder. So there's some neighbor dogs going crazy and I don't know if you guys can see that or not but right there is Mojo. He's not liking that tone that the neighbor dogs are giving off so he's sitting there guarding his herd over there in the other pasture. Just leave him inside for now. I don't want him to bark or bite anybody. You Okay guys, so Kelly has arrived and I'm going to let her kind of talk about her journey and her adventure that she's been on. But let me show you something real quick. This is her setup. She has an awesome setup for making this trip this time of year. She's got a nice camper shell on here. It's all ventilated. And uh, she actually just visited one of our friends down in Texas and look at this. She's got a little uh, puppy from Bodark Kiko's, our friend Josh. She's got a... Uh, pair of goats here, a little buckling and a doling, and she's got a mama and a baby in the bigger pen back there, but I'm going to let her, I'm going to introduce you. This is our friend Kelly. Hello she, everybody. Kelly, you've been watching this for a while, I guess. Yes, I have. Okay, been watching you, you right along. Do you want to tell everybody what your plans are with these goats? Or where, where'd you get them from? Okay, well the goats I got from uh, Bodar Kiko's down in uh, Texas, and uh, Hey Josh. <laughs> yeah. He as, actually, as well as the puppy. He sent you a message. He said to say hi to you. Yep. He said to say hi to Kevin. Yes. Yeah, so. so thanks Josh. Good to see you. Uh, glad you hooked her up with some awesome goats. You got good bloodlines and your dog. I uh, I love this color of this brindle dog. So anyway, yeah. sorry Kelly. No, that's all right. That's all right. Yeah, the pup is beautiful. I named him Ranger. Ranger. Um, he looks just like his mom, Miley. Um, he's a sweet little pup. He's going to be a really good dog. He's yep. going to be good on my little homestead. Uh, I currently have my atonic does right now. Um, I'm raising them. I don't have too many of them, but I wanted to transition into Kikos. So I've been watching everybody out here and sure. <laughs> haven't seen anybody out east that have really good Kikos. And I saw all the bloodlines out here that you got and uh -huh. that Josh had. And I went, oh, I want some of that. <laughs> So, so road trip yeah <laughs> the funny thing is when she got here she was talking about the the bloodlines from the kiko she got from josh and i said you do know whose genetics you're going to be taking home <laughs> if you take face. one of our kiko bucks home <laughs> yes, so. I do. Face. <laughs> so he anyway he really wasn't that mean our no. face junior was not that mean he wasn't that mean he just knocked my tooth out well once. No, I'm keeping my teeth. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, guys, we are going to walk out here and she's going to take a look at our goat and see if she sees one that she can't live without. And that goat might be taking a trip to New York. So you ready to go take a look at them? She ready to also, go look? All right. Kelly also mentioned that she is eventually going to start her own homesteading channel. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. Got my so. homestead going. I do a lot of the old timey stuff. The, That's awesome. And I, I have learned a lot about herbalism and medicinal healing and awesome. with the That's herbs and edible herbs and uh, survival things. And my sons and my daughter and my uh, children-in-law are all involved in doing bushcraft and survival camping, survival awesome. skills. We love that and, stuff. Yeah. And I'm working on my herd and my stock and yeah. I already have some, I already have a couple dogs at home. Um, I have a really awesome female livestock guardian dog and so ranger will be breeding her next year awesome 
So I will have wonderful pops. Yes, you will. Yeah. Yeah. And um, it's taking a puppy nap. Yeah. <laughs> that is a beautiful pup. Yeah. So yeah, when Kelly gets her channel going, yeah, yeah she'll have to let us know. We will have to let you guys know. We'll yeah, send people you. your way. Yep. Thank Definitely. you. Definitely. Well, it's uh, Moose Creek Homestead. So that's what it'll be. I like that awesome. name. Yeah. That's, really that's cool. cool. Thank you. So I've got a little Moose Creek running through my property. So I thought that would be a good name. Yes, awesome. and it's fitting for sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a real pleasure being able to meet y'all too. I was oh, really happy you. to do so. Aww. I was looking forward to that. <laughs> well, I'm so glad to get to meet you. We love our uh, subscribers for sure. You guys are like family. So. Oh, I know. When I first come out here and I thought, oh, this is so cool. I get to meet everybody that I got to know, <laughs> you know, at a distance. And yeah. it's like I've already almost know you from yeah. watching all your videos. That's really cool. Yeah, we feel the same way about a lot of y'all. We just don't get to see your faces. Right. But now, you know, it's awesome to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> So you where ready? are we going? We're going to look at these babies. I guess if we can get them to come back up here. All righty. <laughs> okay. They're running and playing out there. Yep. Hi, Hi baby. I see you on TV too. Yes, you are. Yeah. yeah. Oh. You, show me that. Yeah, you can go on in there. Sure. Baby. Checking her out, Daisy. Yeah, she says, I smell a puppy on you, lady. Come here, Daisy. You smell the puppy? Yeah. Which ones are the... Kiko? I'm going to have to... Uh... Is he Kiko? What number is that? I don't know. It looks like a Spanish this to one's, me. Um, That's a Spanish. Spanish? Yeah, yep. Spanish. Half Spanish. Yep. What would you call to... those again? I don't have a name for those. Spanish, Spanish and Kiko? Kiko? Yep. Come here, Daisy. You called them something yeah, one day. Kikos. Daisy, she is going to take one of your babies probably, but she's going to give it a good home. Pet her. Rachel says she'll leave her alone. Was it Kinko's? I can't remember. Oh, you. Is that a little box there? That is That's two, socks. two socks. Oh, that is? That's nice. That's one oh. socks baby. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. He's got, he's got more of the jerk face uh -huh. coloring. He does, I see on his face especially. And he's the, got the lines and the marks. And the black stripe down his back, and he's got all the mm -hmm. uh, moon spots. Mm -hmm. Now, when they were first born, that one right there mm -hmm. was just real stocky and beefy. Mm -hmm. But this one right there is outgrown him. Wow. Yeah. So, that fast. Yeah. Now, how old are these two guys? The, just about all of them are going to be, they were born the day before Christmas. Okay. So that puts them at what, three months? Yeah, three months. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So 12 weeks. And this is our buck. This is the yep. Jerk Face Junior son. This is L. Mm -hmm. He's going to be our next breeding buck. And he's already getting some good size on him. He's getting his horns starting mm -hmm. to grow out nice. I know some people just pick goats off of what their horns look like, but... Yeah, their horns are going to grow whichever way they're going to yeah. grow, you know? Yeah, and definitely. And be happy with them. But you can tell uh, most of <laughs> most of the black ones are Spanish. Yeah. Not all of them. The yeah. bigger ones, that's a Kiko here. Most of those right there are all Spanish. Yeah. That this guy's a Kiko, or is that a girl? Spanish. Oh, the little white one? Yeah. That's, that's a, boy. a boy. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Someday my herd will be this big, too. Yeah. Well, we want ours to be bigger, but like you said, it is hard to find Kiko goats. It is. It is, especially in the Northeast. Oh, yeah, on the it, East Coast. It very much is. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, a few people selling commercial crosses that are questionable, so All I right. no, I'll just drive out here. Thank you. <laughs> One sock, what are you doing? Huh? I'm sure there are some breeders on the East Coast that are down south. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I know there are. They're registered breeders and they're good. But I've already been following you guys, and I really wanted to come out and meet you and and uh, have some of well, your stock. We well, appreciate you. Hi, baby. Hi, sweetheart.
Oh, coloring. yeah. Wait till you see him in yeah. person. His chest just turned black. I'll show he's, you what he looks he's like. He's amazing Ooh, looking. Yeah, nice. Nice. Yep. So, Keller was just asking if we would be willing to part ways with two socks, which is one socks baby. And we told her she's got first pick, so we're not holding any of these bucks back. And she's the first person that really contacted us this year about buying any. We haven't listed them for sale yet, so... She made a long trip too, so I'm gonna say yeah. she can pick whatever she wants. <laughs> well, I would be happy to add two socks to my herd. Is that, that the one you want to go with? That's the one I want to go with. Two one, sock is headed for New York. One sock? Is that one okay? Sock. One sock's big. <laughs> one sock, two sock, three socks. Hey! Hi, buddy! So that's two socks. There he is. You're going to New York. <laughs> what do you think about that? He ain't arguing. Nope. I, I don't want to name him Frank Sinatra. I'll keep the two sock. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? You gonna go bye bye? I think he's gonna grow up to be an awesome goat. His mom is one of my favorite goats, even though her and her twin sister Tawny over here are some of the most annoying because <laughs> they're really friendly, but they're so big. If yeah. they, you know, if they see me with a bucket, they, they will put, knock they me over. They push their weight around, don't they? Yes. He's a big guy. Thank and you. he's probably been the most He's the youngest one that we got, him and his brother. Yeah. They were born They were born a week or two after the rest. Mm -hmm. That's why they're not ear tagged cuz we already mm -hmm. did the others and Right. Yeah. But very good. I think he'll he'll love coming along with. I think so. And joining. I I will be pretty girls for him to breed later. Yeah, it's always cool when you raise goats like this and you're able to sell them but how cool is it to be able to sell a goat to someone that lives i don't know how many thousand fifteen hundred miles away yeah she's all the way up upstate new york right up in the adirondack mountains wow so and this hopefully little goat, we get to see him on youtube right? yeah see him on youtube yeah. she'll have to send us some pictures and we'll try to keep you guys updated unless you get the youtube channel going before then and maybe you guys can uh, follow him along over there so Daisy's made a new friend, you can see. Yeah. She's She might be begging her not to take any of the goats. I don't know. She's She loves her babies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my female, she loves the baby goats, too. She's all about the goats. That her name's Tolly. Oh. Y'all will be meeting her once I start po posting videos. Oh, awesome. how awesome. She's amazing. So, I just asked one sock, and she never did say nothing. So, I'm going to say he's good to go. Yep. You're going to go to a good home, aren't you? Yep. Yeah. That's Get a ready. long trip. Get ready for some snow, Tucson. <laughs> It'll be well, here he, in October. He made it through uh, the Arctic blast that we got down here. Yeah. And we had all that snow, mm -hmm. and he did great as a yep. baby. So, all right, ready to get him loaded up, I guess. Yeah. We're gonna take a look him. at some of our Pico goats before she leaves. Yeah. So, uh, Hi, Mama. Mama finally came over here, and she's gonna tell her baby goodbye. One sock to two socks. Oh. He'll be. Well taken care of, girl. Give him a kiss goodbye. You're a good mama. Yep. Yeah, she is a good mama. mama. Okay. I wonder if mom. Yeah. I might have put the puppy in the front and <laughs> take that cage out of there and just let them have the back end. But the mama goat's gonna keep that cage. See that puppy skeet. See that puppy skeet. <laughs> Alright, let me help you. You think they'll be too tight? Put them all in there? Um, I'm going to try it and if, yeah, if that I, doesn't work then... I think it'll be fine. I'll put this feed dish out. I feed them in the morning. Yeah. That, and then they got hay to munch on all the time. And I offer them water sure. three times a day too. <laughs> This guy grunts at me. <laughs> oh, already, huh, buddy? There you go. Okay, you're ready to stick him in there? Yeah, here we go. You probably get a few people saying, You got too many goats in there? No. no. <laughs> Look at the puppies. Here. Say hi. Say hi. That's a baby puppy. There we go. He's a cute. Puppy. He probably has to paddle. All right. 
Okay, so let's um, put Skeeter in the house and let this puppy out. Okay, come on, Skeeter. Or we Skeet. can before she leaves. Or we can now. There's Skeeter. There he is. No. I can climb up there and get him out. Hold on. Wagon. So we let Ranger out to go tinkle, and uh, now he's kind of whining because he wants back up there with his goats. He was all content while he was next to those goats, and that's a good sign in a LGD. He loves his goats. He'd rather be in the back with the goats than in the front of the truck with me. He does yeah. not want to be in the front. That's a good sign. He whines, awesome. and I, I set him up here on the tailgate, and he goes right over into the hay and starts, like, nuzzling against the little goat in the cage and wagging his tail. So I know he's happier in the goat, right. in with the goats in the truck. Hey. Come here. Yep. Come here. He's a beautiful dog. He's like, nope. He's going to be a big boy, too, the size of his paws. Oh, yeah. So, two socks. I don't know if she's going to change your name or not. But no, he's staying two socks. Staying two socks. So they seem to be getting along. I don't know. That could change because that is two little bucklings, but they're not old enough to be aggressive towards each other. And if they get raised together, then they probably will always be friends. Mm-hmm. I know they're over here. Come on, buddy. Ranger decided to follow us. Come That's on, Ranger. So that is funny. He heard us talking, I guess. Let me go get him. Come here, Mo. Oh, he said, oh, I'm going back. Well, come, come on, on buddy. Mo, so look at all those goats. Come here. Mo. Look at all those goats, buddy. I need to send him to obedience school. Yeah. <laughs> we want to live with Here, Mo. I don't think he can. Either. He probably wouldn't bother him, but. Come on, buddy. Come on, Ranger. Come on, Ranger. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. You're such a good Ojo. boy. Come He's on. hitting the camera with his it's tail. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, come on. Still getting used to me, huh? Come on. Come here. It's okay. Yes, it's okay. He's like, I want to like you. Come on, baby. <laughs> Oh, good boy. He knows goats. And good that's boy. what he likes. He's a hefty little boy. Yeah, he's a tank. How old is he? He's a tank. He's uh, eight weeks. Eight weeks old. Eight weeks old now. Oh, yeah. Wow. Mojo? What do you think? You want to get one of those, buddy? Huh? He don't like it because I'm holding his collar. If you help me train one, I promise I'll let you retire. How about that? Huh? You smell ranger on me? Look. Looky here. Who's there? Oh my goodness. Who's there? Is this tail wagging? Uh, no. <laughs> you want to smell him? It is now. Can you smell him? Can you smell his mama on him? Can you smell Miley? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know about it. What do you think, Mo? We're going to have to get you. Yeah. A little trainee, huh? Well, it's good he come running over here. I know he that did. That was, was funny. Was like, hey, where are you? Yeah. <laughs> His paws are huge. All right, guys. So we got Ranger in there, and Two Socks is in there. She's got all her water loaded up and ready for the trip back to New York. Let's take one last look at Ranger. He could not wait to get back in here with his goats. He has got a little nest made over there. It's a bunch of hay. And uh, he got his belly full of food and water and went and did his thing and now he's ready for the long journey. But He's going to nap. Yeah, he's yeah. going to take a long nap. And Kelly, it was awesome to meet you. It was very nice meeting you all as well. So very... glad you were able to make the trip up here or down here and uh, purchase two socks from us. And very happy to have him. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to give me some good babies on the ground. Yeah, and you got some other good uh, Bodark Kiko goats over here. So. Oh, absolutely. Going to have some really awesome commercial and registered goats going on yeah. upstate yep. New York. Man, I really uh, would love to have one of these puppies, Josh. Yeah. Your next uh, litter, I might have to work something out with you. Mojo, Mojo didn't know. Look at her face. Yeah, Kaya seen him and she just <laughs> lost it. Mojo didn't know really what to uh, quite think about the puppy. Uh, I was trying to get a thumbnail with him, but he just kept turning his head, so I don't know how that's gonna turn out. He but. didn't even look at the baby. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, yep. Isn't it cute? Oh, we need one. We need one. We need one? Well, we'll see. So guys, Kelly might have just found uh, one of our last bottles of honey that we kind of had 
hid away. We're going to send it back to New York with her with the little gift bag here of some Hidden Heights merch. Yeah, we got the shirt <laughs> and the hat yep. and the honey. We don't have a lot left. No, though, we don't have really. a lot left. But very thankful. Thank it, you. Yes, you are very welcome. And it is an awesome experience to be able to meet you guys and especially people that you actually talk to every day on the comments and emails and stuff. And then someone drives across the country to buy one of your uh, goats from you. It's just an awesome experience. And then getting to fellowship and talk, it's just... It's just, uh, I don't even know what to say. It's awesome. It's so, a huge blessing. Yeah, it yes. is. It is. So thank you again for making the trip and have thank a safe you. trip back. And we can't wait to see how Ranger and Two Sucks yeah. does on your farm. Fantastic. <laughs> so. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Yep. And just like that guys, you got a little baby goat leaving the foothills of the Ozark Mountains, traveling like 1300 miles northeast to upstate New York. And he's gonna be living on a new farm in a matter of days. It's, it's just a cool feeling when you're able to meet people that are like-minded, that appreciate the work and effort that we put into our animals and then make that trip to come down and purchase one of our uh, goats it's just an awesome feeling and being able to meet subscribers like that it is a it's a blessing it, it really is so thank you guys so much for watching we're gonna wrap up this video we gotta get some stuff done and uh i see some smoke back here coming up i don't know if there's a fire or what so i'm gonna i might put the drone up in the air and check that out but anyways i hope you all have a blessed day leave a comment like this video and we'll see you next time